welcome to insta solution question number 2 today we have a multiple answer type question and the question is what is not true about endothelitis so endothelitis is a very important question in your exam and today we will be discussing something on endothelitis and some new potential questions on this particular topic so as you all know that by the term endothelitis it means that there is a very severe inflammation of the inner ports of the eye wall with vitreous exudation now you can have endogenous cases of endothelitis where you have either an immunocompromised state or you have any systemic infection in the body which can go to your eye and cause endothelitis the cases are very 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 less now the most cases are coming from some exogenous source it can be after post trauma or can be after a surgery in the eye now cases of trauma this is mainly after bacillus cereus okay so you should know what is the organism for all such cases bacillus cereus will be mainly after trauma now early end of thymitis we all know that this is after coagulase negative staph which is also called as staph epidermidis and late cases may be after either a fungus infection or propyne bacterium acne okay now these questions have already been asked now you should know something very special about propyne bacterium acne and late end of thymitis now when you have end of thymitis in the late post operative period by especially propyne bacterium acne you may develop a plaque on the lens itself so this plaque will be your sign which will tell you that this is a case of endothelitis and while we do vitrectomy in such patients we may have to explant the iol also now when endothelitis patient comes to us with early presentation that is usually 2 to 3 days after a surgery they come to us with pain redness and sudden drop in vision so these three are the danger symptoms now when we see these patients we find classically the cornea is hazy you have a hazy cornea and you have the pathognomonic hypopion so hypopion is nothing but pus in anterior chamber which itself is a individual picture question now the treatment is on the line of endothelitis vitrectomy study so evs study says that if your vision is poor less than pr accurate less than finger counting close to face you may have to do a urgent vitrector okay now they also say that if the vision is slightly better that means if the vision is pr accurate or finger counting close to face you may need not to do a vitrectomy you can treat first the patient by doing a tap of the vitreous and giving intravitreal antibiotics they also said that there is no role or hardly any role of systemic antibiotics they say that we have to give only intravitreal antibiotics which are worth otherwise is no role of systemic antibiotics so this much at least you should know about end of thalmitis now let's try to solve the question late end of thalmitis cases may show iol plaque that i told you can be found streptococcus is the most common cause in post traumatic cases no guys it's not it is your um bacillus cereus so systemic antibiotics have a limited role in post operative cases yes that's again a correct statement they have merely barely any role now urgent vitrectomy is the first line of treatment no the first line of treatment is intravitreal antibiotics and not vitrectomy 